Greenhouse farming is one of the best and modern ways of farming system. But not majority of farmers in the world are doing this kind of farming. Most of them are still into traditional agricultures. But today, you will see some advanced greenhouse farming systems that are gaining popularity. Hi everyone, how's it going? Richard Aguilar here again and welcome back to my channel. So before we get started, be sure to subscribe and tick the notification bell to keep you updated with our new videos. And today is all about advanced greenhouse farming system that is gaining popularity nowadays. So with that said, let's proceed to our video. Number 1 is Greenhouse Farming Operations Still Growing in Madison County This is what it looks like to be inside one of greenhouse farms in Madison County. Greenhouse farming is completely in operation inside this facility, with full of green leafy vegetations and strawberry fruits, as what you can see here in this video. Number 2 is High-Tech Greenhouse Farming Could Feed the World Shortages of agricultural land and water are prompting companies to explore innovative ways to grow crops. An Australian project using solar power, desalination and evaporative cooling may provide part of the answer to feeding a growing population. Number 3 is Greenhouse Breakthrough Method of Growing Crops in Deserts Scientists in the Netherlands say they are close to a breakthrough which will allow crops to be grown in deserts. Many say this could completely alter life on the African continent and even end hunger. World leaders meeting at the climate talks in Germany were being urged to commit to more funding for new agricultural projects in drought-stricken parts of the world. Number 4 is High-Tech Tomatoes Growing in a Greenhouse Hydroponics module air glass house at the Blakenham nursery site at Bramford near Ipswich covers the area of 11 football pitches.
It's the most technologically advanced farming of its kind in the UK. A carbon dioxide enriched air filter system, nutrient enriched water, red LED lights, and controlled summer light conditions all help the plants grow at an optimum rate. Each tomato plant will grow at 35 cm per week, eventually reaching up to 15 meters in height. Number 5 is Hydroponic Greenhouse in Palm Beach County. A Palm Beach County farm is taking a different approach to growing. Green Life Farms opened its flagship hydroponic greenhouse in unincorporated Lake Worth in the U.S. Number 6 is a farm that employs adults with disabilities. An unconventional farm in Ohio is helping its west side community in a unique way. Zero Two Urban Farms uses aquaponics to grow fresh lettuce. It produces with a purpose. The farm employs adults with developmental disabilities to assist in germinating, transplanting, and harvesting the produce at its Cheviot facility. The aquaponics agricultural model is a self-sustaining system. Co-founder says it uses 95% less water than traditional farming and produces 10 times the amount of food in half the time. Number 7 is hydroponics could be a solution for climate change effects on farming. Connecticut farmers are seeing the effects of climate change and considering ways to adapt to a warmer climate. And here is one of them. By using shades and LED lightings, fans to circulate air, and the ability to precisely control the water temperatures, hydroponics can deal with a hotter and wetter world, taking climate change head-on. Number 8 is in-house gardening in the middle of crisis. With more people staying at home and shopping less, now is the perfect time to start growing your own food. Though it's true that it's not easy to build your own garden indoor for food production, but it's really a possible thing to do. Watch! And that concludes this video for today, so don't forget to like this video, subscribe and share this with others. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar, thanks for watching and see you on my next video.